An investigation into sexual assault at one of the country's top universities, Brown University, warning everyone on campus there after two students were drugged at a fraternity party. ABC's Morris Gavacampo is here, has all the details for us. Good morning, Mar. Robin, good morning. It started when those two women reported memory loss after a frat party. Now, campus officials believe it's because they were slipped a date rape drug. This, as reports of campus sexual assaults are increasing nationwide. In a letter to students, Brown University is warning them to be vigilant after a female tested positive for GHB, commonly known as the date rape drug. This comes just a month after a woman says she was attacked. Two women were allegedly drugged after drinking a spiked punch at a Phi Kappa Psi fraternity event on campus in October. One of the women says she was then sexually assaulted. The email urging students to be careful. We strongly encourage any individuals with relevant information to report what they know. Anyone should be able to go and have those fun experiences without having to worry about um, getting drugged or assaulted. The fraternity has since been suspended pending the results of the investigation, even sending a letter of their own around campus. We are confident that in no way did any member of Phi Kappa Psi engage in or perpetrate such atrocious and criminal behavior. President Obama has made preventing sexual assaults on campus a priority for his administration. This is a problem that matters to all of us. Even tapping celebrities for public service announcements, hoping to shed light on just how prevalent the problem is. It's on us to stop sexual assault. Overnight, Brown University released a statement to ABC News saying our investigation into this deplorable incident continues and we are making every effort to identify and hold accountable those responsible. So that investigation is underway. Like I said, this, is, this goes on far too often in far campuses too often. across the country. Yeah. All right, Mara, thank you. Thanks.